a triangle, a square, and a rectangle. Ah, I get it. Say hello to Mr. Maker. <laughs> Oh, hello there, great to see you again. I've just been upstairs fixing my leaky tap. Yeah, it was no problem, thanks to my trusty tools and my brilliant fix-it skills. Hey! <laughs> oh no, it's still dripping up there. I better go and fix it again, excuse me, it won't be long. <laughs> right, there we go, it's definitely fixed now thanks to my trusty tools and my brilliant fix-it skills. Yeah. Oh no, it's still dripping. I don't believe this, I just give up. But that dripping tap gives me a brilliant idea. Try making a stunning drip picture that's great fun to do. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. Come on. <laughs> some paint a glue stick, a pen and a pencil some paper, some card and some scissors <laughs> and some water <sighs> Whoa! Now to make your very own drip picture like this one here, you first have to put some old paper or some newspaper down first, because this can get a bit messy. Now you can choose your paint. Squeeze some into some plastic beakers. And now add in a dash of water to make it slightly runny, a bit like custard. Give it a good stir. Next, take a sheet of thick paper or card and draw a thin pencil line along it like this. Make this quite near the bottom. And now we're going to pour painty mixture right along the line. Like this. And do an extra big dollop in the middle. Now, this is the fun bit. We're going to pick up our card at the painty end and lift it up. Are you ready? Here we go! Way! Oh, look at it go! It's a fantastic drippy pattern. Oh, I'm just going to stop there before it reaches the end of the card because I don't want to get paint all over my table. Whilst that's drying, draw two eyes and a mouth on some white paper. And then cut these out, but be careful because scissors are sharp. Oh, all right, all right. And when the paint is dry, glue on the eyes and the mouth. There he is, a drip monster. Isn't he funny? Let's do another one. This time, draw two curvy lines at the bottom of the card. Like this. And this. There, they look like smiles. Now let's pour on some paint. This one can be purple, and this one can be green. Now, if we pick up our card, away we go! Oh, come on, here we go! There! Brilliant! And now let's leave these to dry too. And when it's dry, add paper eyes and mouths, just like we did before. And there! They look like two little aliens, don't they? And there are other ideas you could try too. 
The weed in this fish picture was made by pouring a line of paint along the bottom of the card, then letting it run. After it's dry, just draw a fish and some pebbles and cut them out. So why don't you try letting your paint run and make a drippy picture? Oh no, that tap's dripping upstairs again. Hmm, maybe there's a problem with the pipes. Uh-oh! <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely a problem with the pipes. But don't worry, I'll fix them later. But not before I fix my hair. <sighs> there, that's better. Who's that snoring? Oh, it's the shapes. They're asleep again. Let's wake them up. Can you see one, two, three, four, five, six? There are six squares. Well done, Square. It's time to get back on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> It was a really tricky puzzle today, but it was lots of fun. It really fun. Here, minute make time. Wow, it's minute make time. Come on, everyone. <laughs> yes, it's minute make time, and this is what we're going to make today: a flappy ear card. <laughs> Look at that. It's from me. <laughs> now, to make one of these, you will need a square of coloured card, three white stickers, a pair of scissors and a black pen. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? You're having a laugh. Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to move very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, let's get our square of paper and fold it in half like that there. And then with our scissors, we can cut along the fold. Be careful. I'm being careful, Toki. There we go. This will give us two smaller triangles. Now, if we fold both corners down like that and like that, we get our two flappy ears. Now I'm going to draw a nose and two eyes with my black pen onto my white stickers. There's the nose. That's just coloured in completely in black, that one. And then the eyes are two dots. There's one and there's two. Right, let's put these on very quickly, if we can. There we go. Right, come on then, nose. Here we go. There's our nose. Brilliant. Now we need one eye. There's one eye. There it is. There. Right. Let's give him a face. There, there. There, 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 and there, and there. I've done it. Only just! Oh yeah, that was close. But this ear card is for you, Toki. So I'm going to write my name here. <laughs> there you go, Toki. You're too kind. And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of flappy cards. This one's a rabbit with big teeth and a little pink nose. And how about this spotty pig with a big snout? <laughs> Ear cards made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Take a square piece of coloured card and fold it in half. Then cut along the fold to make two triangle shapes. 
fold down the top corners of one of the triangles to make ears, put on stickers for a nose and eyes, add details with a black pen, and then write your message behind the ear on your ear card. Why don't you try making it in a minute? We're here, Mr Maker! Oh, hello, everyone! Watch this! Ho, oh, this should be fun. I wonder what they're up to. Everybody, see you next time. Now it's time to frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now take a look at this. This is a ghostly picture. It's easy to do and looks so good that you'll be able to frame it. You will need some dark coloured card, tracing paper, glue, a pencil, a pen, and some chalk pastels. Start off by drawing a thick pastel line across the coloured card. This is going to be a spooky hill. Then smudge the line with your fingers. This gives a great misty effect, but it's a little bit messy, so wash your hands afterwards. Take the pink chalk pastel and draw another line. Smudge the pink upwards and it's like there's a spooky glow behind the hill. Then draw an old tree on top of the hill with the black chalk pastel. Now it's time to make your ghost. Place the tracing paper over the top of your picture and you can still see your picture underneath. Next draw a spooky ghost shape with your pencil. Don't forget to colour in the ghost's eyes and mouth with a black pen. Then carefully tear the ghost out. Glue your ghost anywhere you like on the page. Let's make this one float right here. There! What a ghostly looking picture! Why don't you try it, if you dare? What a brilliant picture! Why don't you have a go? And then... Frame it! Wow! What a fantastic picture! I like making pictures out of all sorts of things. So, let's make a picture out of pom-poms. What do you think they're making? It's a terrific toadstool! Now, where is it? Oh, honestly, where could it be? Oh, have you ever put something in a secret place and then completely forgotten where you've put it? Oh, that's what I've done. Oh. Oh, it's my secret piggy bank. Shh. I was saving up all my coins in. Yeah, I'm sure I put it in the doodle drawers somewhere. No, it's not in here. Oh, I was sure that I put my pink piggy bank in those doodle drawers. Yeah, have you seen it anywhere? It's a pink piggy bank, sort of this colour, and uh, it looks like a pig, um, sort of like this one, and it holds money, um, sort of like this one. Hang on a minute. This is my piggy bank. Oh, but how did it get all the way over to these shelves from the doodle drawers? Oh, that is a bit of a mystery. But I tell you what, it gives me a great idea. 
A fantastic bookend secret safe to hide your secret arty stuff or favourite toys in. Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers! <coughs> Two cardboard cereal boxes. <coughs> a glue stick. <coughs> some white and coloured paint. <coughs> and a black felt tip pen. <coughs> Whoa! And we also need a few big pebbles, and we can get those from a garden centre. I'll be back in a tick. <coughs> here they are. Here are our pebbles. Let's lay them out here. Now, to make your bookend secret safe, to hide your secret stuff inside, you have to get two empty cardboard cereal boxes, like this, with flaps on the lid. Now we're going to cover both of these boxes, including the lids, in white paint. Now this is a good tip, as it lets us cover everything with coloured paint much easier later on. Once your cereal boxes are dry, it's time to paint them with coloured paint. Now make sure that you paint on the front, the edge and the back of your box, but don't paint on these edges here, because they're going to be the pages of our books. Oh. Now let's paint this one red and this one blue. Now for a really great effect, you can use a slightly lighter colour down this side of the book here, which is called the spine. And how about adding a rectangle on the front cover like this? And when both of your boxes are painted and dry, you can use a black pen to add some extra details. How about adding black lines on the white edges for the pages of the books and some rectangles down the spine and on the front to make it look like a realistic book. They look good! Now we can stick them together. Brilliant! But these are a bit light at the moment, so to keep your books standing on the shelf, pop a couple of pebbles into each box. This will keep your books standing on the shelf and nicely weighed down. Now your bookend secret safe is ready for action. <laughs> and you can put whatever you want inside it. Maybe your favourite secret toy. Right, come on then, Mr Dinosaur. In you go. That's it. And close it up and no one will know where your toy is. Well, no one except you, of course. <laughs> it's a terrific bookend secret safe. And there are lots of other designs you could try too. How about some small books? made out of fun-sized cereal boxes. Or you could make a really big one using very big cereal boxes like this. Fantastic! But it still doesn't solve the puzzle of how my secret piggy bank got all the way from the doodle drawers over to the shelves on his own. Oh well, I guess that will remain a mystery forever. Hmm. <laughs> To go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box! If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies for more ideas.